Hi Aries, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to everybody for all the support. I appreciate y'all a great deal. This is a lot of fun and I plan to keep on reading on this particular platform. If you are new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, just come back in a couple of days. Today's reading will be a general reading. That's what we do on Fridays. So we'll cover aspects. I'm going to take the magician out. It kind of came out, so why not? Cover aspects of money, career, love, and everything else. Mondays are different every week. And if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Aries need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all concerned with Aries? Messages for Aries, please. All right, we will start here with the tarot, and then we'll have the angel answers. And we're going to start off here with this magician energy. That's pretty cool to see come out. You've got the Nine of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, Five of Wands and the King of Cups. We've got the Knight, or excuse me, not the Knight, dear Lord. King of Wands, my apologies. The Lovers, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. So, um, plus the Magician here. So, two major arcana with the Magician and the Lovers being here. But you've got a new beginning with something. You're manifesting big time. So, be aware of that because this is a very powerful combination of energies coming in here. Um, it's work and money. Okay, this applies to both. It's a new chapter, though. It's going to be long lasting. And I do get especially, though, if you're planning a move or it's something new with work, you've got a new, a new idea, something new and innovative. The magician tells us to keep our good ideas to ourselves until they're fully manifested. He's also the energy of fake it till you make it. So it's one of those things where it's like you have the feeling of having it now, right? Um, it's that that overarching feeling of, I know this is happening. This is happening now. And so I do feel like you have a new opportunity, especially with work or money, a new idea that comes in. But I also, with this in terms of love, this is transformational. Now, somebody here, if you have a conflict in a relationship, I do see either a second chance or a resolution to that. With the energy of the knight and the king of cups, there's going to be a conversation coming forward. And I feel like it's kind of a once and for all thing. Those of you that are already in a relationship that's had some challenges, it's about getting back into the alignment and staying there. Okay, so with the magician too, this is seeing what you need to see. It's not stage magic. This is magic with a K. It's more like metaphysics or mysticism. Mysticism would probably be a better for back in the the age when the cards were made. Um, but it's getting rid of illusion, seeing what you need to see again. And this is the conscious mind. You have it in terms of the lovers. You have it there too, using the conscious on the subconscious. So this nine of wands says, hey, you've been putting in the work. You're kind of getting tired of that phase of things though. Nines are about realization. So I do feel like, too, there's sort of a sick and tired of being sick and tired energy here. If it's in terms of a relationship or it's just a, a work, I, God damn it, I heard work has you by the balls. Okay, I apologize for that. But I feel like it's somebody here, it's like they're getting bit, a bit burned out by work. And it may be, too, if there's a lot of people on, I get like a leave of absence if you have people who are coming back, but they're not there right now, like you're covering for them, but it's making you, put putting you in this, which is not great. Um, but overall with this too, I will say on the upside, you've gained something from it, okay? And some of you, it may just be the ability to multitask, to do things that get, be more efficient in a way, get things done quicker because you know you have a lot to do. And so with this Nine of Wands too, it's it's a realization, a completion. And so you're going to have a new beginning here, but it brings in a lot of clarity. So it's not a confusion as much as it's like, whew, I'm glad we're done with that phase. I damn near broke at that one. So the Knight of Pentacles comes in with good news. And so with this too, I do feel like if it's a work thing, you're either going to have a new opportunity. And for some of you, if you've been covering for a lot of people, 
And again, like they're gone for a legitimate reason. I do feel like you're going to have a promotion or advancement with this. It may be a bit in the future, though, just because if you're still sort of covering and doing things to, even if it's your own business, I feel like there's still this feeling of a covering for a shortage in some way. And so with this, I do feel like what you need is here. You've got a new resource coming in with the Ace of Pentacles, too, that's going to help with long-term financial situations. But with this, it's doing it the right way the first time. So you're not going to have to go back and redo this. You're not going to have to go back and, you know, revise, revisit, rediscover. It's all right here. It just moves along very succinctly. It's methodical energy. So it's sort of like I hear brick by brick or step by step. You're going to keep moving forward in this. And you've got this five of wands. I get this a couple of ways. For some of you, if it's a work-related thing, again, I feel like you're hurting cats or something. You ever seen that little video? It's kind of fun if you haven't seen it. But it's like you're you're having to, to manage this kind of energy. Um, but it is a change, okay? So I do feel like you're going to have things going in a straighter, linear path as you move forward with work. Um, and it, I also got it, though, too, with that somebody in a relationship needing to sort through some things here, some chaos. And especially, too, if you've had a breakup or there's a strain in a relationship and people around you are talking about it, right? And I do feel like it's coming from somewhat of a gossipy place. You know how they are. Haters get loud and they love an audience. Instead of just focusing on their own lives and trying to expand those. And I don't think they necessarily are nefarious in their intentions. They just don't have anything to do, it feels like. But again, I feel like you're moving away from this. That's the great news. And you've got these two kings. You've got the master of love and an open book here. So somebody in a new relationship too, because you do have, some of you are attracting somebody new, but I still get this thing about needing to resolve some unfinished emotional business or resolve a problem within a relationship this is the openness that you need, okay? This is a this is somebody you can actually have a conversation with. Um, you have here, I didn't mention this, earth, water, fire are the predominant energies. And I think I did say you have Gemini here, an air sign there. Um, but either way with this, it's being able to sit down, having an emotionally open conversation, but also too with a maturity. So this is somebody who uh, regulates their emotions. This is not somebody who's gonna go off on you in a coffee shop or something, right? You know, um, but I, I do feel like there's healing and there's a partner here. There's a true partner. So those of you that are working on it, I feel like part of it is because you know that this person's a total confidant. This is somebody you can completely trust. Somebody who is, has real love for you too. It's worth it. They're, it's worth the investment. Now, I, I'm also going to tell you too, this is a card of self-development. So I still get, if you've had work burning both ends of the candle it's developing your skill set in a way that's going to be very useful for you down the road nothing is wasted in god's economy even if you say well i was damn near sleeping in my car to get back to work the next day you know it's sort of like that like i feel like somebody's just been having no work-life balance for a while here well this king of wands comes in and here's where the expansion goes you're, you're meant to be in charge here, Aries. You're the first sign of the zodiac. You go where others can't. Other signs can't. And not that they just won't. They just can't. You do more than some are possible of doing. Some are capable of doing. So with this uh, King of Wands, you're hitting your stride here. And so I do feel like even if it's been stressful and you've been sort of having to exert yourself more than normal, you're kind of getting into flow with it. it the, the rescue is coming, though. You've got another night on the way to help alleviate this and bring in some other, you know, especially if you, it's causing a, a, a difficulty at home in the in the love front. But with this too, you've got a really dynamic, captivating energy. So I still feel like you're going to resolve things where you are, but some of you may have new offers coming in for work. Or like I said, it's a promotion based on the performance that you've had. This is all merit-based and you've got it. You've got a stellar thing going on here and they know it. They don't want to lose you. So again, you may see more money in the bank coming in because of this. Um, but either way, you kind of have that energy. You have it with the nine of wands too, that conquering spirit that says, look, if I can do it, so can everyone else. And so the king of wands sometimes doesn't have much uh, patience for apathy or for martyrdom. You know, if you see people around you, you know, it's like you're, you're running a race, right? A 
uh, uh, relay race and one of your partners is like holding their side and you say, just run through it. We don't have time for this. Um, so it's not, I mean, it's not necessarily impatience, but it is sort of that. I just feel like you kind of are doing a lot because you know you can do it right the first time. Well, the lovers comes in because you do have an important relationship here. This one's blessed by angels, so it's blessed by that Archangel Raphael. Now, I haven't said much about um, new love coming in, but you do have it with the ace and the knight that is here. Um, I do feel like with this, it's definitely whatever it is. It, this is a card that shows that person's thinking about you, all right, and wants a commitment. But it's... um. It's a growing, blooming kind of energy. This is a beautiful card for any kind of relationship. It is a card of choices, though. This is also called the choice in some decks. And it does indicate, it indicates major healing, but it does indicate a, a choice to love. And being in a relationship that brings a new understanding of life. This is a very important partnership. It's also, though, in terms of work, too, though. In career, it's saying things are a match and they're blooming. There's going to be more for you in career, for sure. So with the Ace of Pentacles, that new chapter, that new gate, that new door opens, this can feel like luck, but it's really alignment. And so some of you too, it's that aligning. If you have people again who need to return to work, sorry, I was itching my arm, making the card bob up and down. That's great. Um, but with this, I do feel like it's going to help you. It alleviates some things and allows you to bring balance back into your life. Now, again, in terms of love, it's a new chapter. Some it's with healing a, a, a Part of a relationship that's already there, but it's been struggling and suffering a bit. Others of you, there's somebody new who comes in. And I do feel like, especially with the new, you've got this Knight of Cups that's like, let me sweep you off your feet. And I do get too with the lovers, somebody having dreams about this, having dreams about this partnership because your subconscious is talking to you. Your subconscious is dictating who you draw into your experience. And all you need to do is look around you. So for some, Get, set your intentions with this. Be clear about the traits and qualities that you want to attract from height to looks to scent to finance to spirituality to everything else because there's no shortage here. So let's see, Aries, what the angels have to say for you. And messages for Aries, please. Advice for Aries. What else does Aries need to know, please? Okay, Sun Aries. We've got it's up to you, all right? So I definitely feel like you have a very dynamic energy. You have abundance showing up here. So things are definitely growing. Get more information. I mentioned there is going to be a conversation that moves things forward. They say within the next few months, and you have a yes because you create your own reality. You can have, do, or be anything. I love you, Aries, and I'll be back again soon.